Good morning to all of those tuning in. This is the Rebel Lemon, and today we're back to playing Deponia, the complete journey. So, last time we were mostly exploring around the black market, or whatever it's called, um, and we've figured out that the surgery was botched mostly because of our favorite favorite Rufus um but now we have to take goal out on the dinner day dinner day but to do that we need to sabotage the restaurant in our favor Huh. That, and I had the most disappointing meeting with Rufus's father ever. I don't even know what to say other than that. But anyways, let's continue on. Anyways, I still need to check out this area. I've seen this area. Did the plat platypus just fly? Am I crazy? What an ugly nest. It must belong to an extremely ugly bird. Platypuses are mammals that lay eggs, not birds. They're weird though. Hands off! The field guide is only for members of the Platypus Club. Even though I really resent having to ask this question, uh, how can I become a member of the Platypus Club again? It's easy. I hit some trial membership cards in the restaurant's fortune cookies. <laughs> really? Which once again proves that luck is relative. Welcome hmm. to Platypus Paradise. What platitudes may I offer you today? What the heck is this place? It's a souvenir shop. We have everything a tourist could possibly desire. Platypus greeting cards, platypus candy, platypus hats, platypus back scratchers, platypus jewelry, platypus figurines for the mantelpiece, platypus cuddly toys, t-shirts with amusing platypus slogans, and music cartridges with platypus noises. <laughs> well stocked. I'm not gonna lie, out of any animal you could pick, sure, platypuses are kind of cute. But why? Why platypuses? And why so much merchandise with them? <clears throat> I take it you're into platypuses. Sure looks like it, huh? Platypuses are my livelihood. If you know where to find them, you can make a small fortune off of them. By selling back scratchers to tourists? You have no idea. For one thing, I supply them to the Platypus Restaurant. I'm also a bookmaker for Platypus Betting and chairman of the Platypus Club. Platypuses even inspire my poetry. You, uh, write poetry about platypuses? Yep, mainly for greeting cards, but they also appear every week in Platypus Daily. I have so many questions and not enough patience to ask. I swear to God. Like, just why? Just why? That's it. They're not even a great animal. They, okay, I will say, an egg-like mammal with a duck-like bill and a beaver-like tail? Alright, kind of interesting. But like, marketable? I don't know. There's a dozen animals I could think that are just better. Then again, I guess I am biased. I do really hate some fucking animals. That other people really love. Eh, didn't mean it, tomato. Have you got anything that's not made from platypuses? Well... The platypus figurines are made of clay, but I use platypus wax for the finish. Wait, what is platypus wax? I gotta just stop asking questions. Uh, you also supply the platypus restaurant. Yep, 
There's good eating on one of those things. What if there's a shortage? Now that would be a disaster. The restaurant would have to completely change its menu. But it'll never come to that. There are unguarded nests everywhere on the floating black market. Hmm. What do you mean by unguarded nests? In every generation, there's an especially vicious platypus that guards the nest of the pride. W what could they possibly do to you? Try to bite your fingers? Let me tell you, they're evil little critters. Oh, don't tell me they can bite through gloves. And jock straps. Oh. So you're interested in nest guardians. Club members get to read all about them in the platypus field guide. Uh, <laughs> yippee. <clears throat> Actually, platypus is poisonous. They have a um, venom, venom, if I'm correct, a venom injecting um, claw on the back side of one of the little feedings I just I think I just I know they inject venom I just don't remember how I I looked that up you know don't trust me look it up for yourself what's the deal with this platypus club oh it's great as a member you always get brand new information from the world of platypuses delivered to your doorstep you'll be the first to learn about the wonders of platypus procreation and you'll know the platypus migration routes even before winter comes and you'll have feathers grow on your hump Oh, platypuses have neither feathers nor humps. As a member of the club, you'd know that. Upon registration, every new member receives the latest edition of the Platypus Field Guide. I hid some trial membership cards in the restaurant's fortune cookies. With a little help from Dame Fortune, you might be able to join the inner circle of platypus enthusiasts. If Dame Fortune really keeps yourself busy with that kind of humbug, it explains the bad luck I've been. I don't want to know. Grab a bus, platypus. Yes, I will, Ducky Bill. Okay, that was kind of clever. I'll give him that. Um, I I will say. Crank handle. Oh, it needs. Oh, it needs one. Oh, I that never clicked last time. Um, but. This crankshaft without a crank was missing a crank. Rufus, you are a genius. Crank it. I'm sorry, I skipped that. I uh, never touch stuff that some stranger has already had in their rear end. So Caution is required. The colorful ones like to bite back. Oh man, that was a lousy Easter. Wait, do I have anything? <sighs> I guess not. Okay. Down. Oh, this is a platypus Just a restaurant. Second. I'll be with you right away. Oh, great and almighty Mathulu, your faithful servant has found you another sacrifice. Moginox aprixidor dobidom padrex. Barador extra cheese. Yes. Yes. Huh, not a bad place. Here I am. Please excuse the delay. Ah, oh, no problem. How can I help you? What? So, what have you got? Well, the dinner menu applies for the restaurant. Here at the takeout counter, we mainly serve platypus burgers. Hmm. I hope they're not too greasy. I would hate to ruin my perfect body. Oh, in that case, I'd better ask. Oh, great and wise Mathulu, the sacrifice wishes to know whether our burgers will make him fat. <coughs> Ravanek cha, Ravanek kam cha, Koror, all natural. Ah, right. Our management would like to assure you that we use nothing but choicest ingredients in our products. And all the essential vitamins are provided by free-range lettuce leaves. Just make your choice from the menu. There are three menu options to choose from. Plus, you can modify your choice if you like. It's all explained on the menu. 
Interesting. What a romantic place. You think so? Oh, yeah. The view, the old town, all that's missing is children at play. Oh, uh, one moment, please. <laughs> I think he's on to us. He noticed the missing children. Borodeor Satinav. Mumble snumble grabbar bongs. Oh, you know, oh Lord of Darkness, sometimes I find you downright scary. Here I am again. Anything else I can do for you? Though bizarre. I kind of like it. It's kind of funny. Um, what's the deal with the fortune cookies? So, what's the deal with these fortune cookies? Actually, I'm not really sure myself. Ah, eh, that's no problem. Why? Why? The sacrifice just asked about the fortune cookies, my lord. Meet your panzozex padino muror patidana. La paridox tormentor. <laughs> Enslave the mortals. Right on. Not gonna lie. And here and again, the fortune cookies are free, courtesy of the house. And with a little luck, you may even win a trial membership in the Platypus Club. Hooray. Yeah, not gonna lie. Um. Thulax? Kind of makes me. Just reminds me of, like, Cthulhu. Like a knockoff version. Maybe with a mustache? Maybe? Um. So we have a table two. I'd like to reserve a table for two. For two? Just a moment. Oh my god. I think there may be a second sacrifice. How shall I proceed? Porto nominem hasur modiner con fuginox. Leomon Fademon in advance. Oh, right. I'll let him know then. Boy, they really know how to treat a customer. Unfortunately, we cannot accept any more reservations for tonight. The only free table is reserved for our regulars. Hmm. I'd like to order some takeout. Very well. Just make your choice from the menu. Menu one, two, three. Okay, so downsize minus half a token, upsize is plus half a token. Um, the change in a burger for. No, sorry, a drink for a burger. Two of these burgers for a big one. And then. Okay. Wait, couldn't you in theory just change your soda to two burgers? Two burgers for cheeseburger, cheeseburger for a drink? I think. Hold on. Downsize. What am I paying? That didn't solve anything. Uh huh.
Am I doing something wrong? Is this your order? Yes. Why? Well, do you even have enough money? Uh, I mean, the, the way you're dressed and all. No, Ouch. you're right. Sorry, it's all my fault. Huh. They only have dishes made from platypus here. Lady Goal won't like that at all. Okay, give me the instructions. Om nom nom. Those platypus, platypus burgers look tasty. Sucks out Rufus had to liquefy Bozo's wallet for a chemical experiment. Now he has no choice but can find the various make Thulu specials in a way he can get a small meal for free. First big deal ingested by your table downsize and supersize it accordingly. You can also swap for a product of equal cost. Just click the highlighted option left in the menu. Okay. But now the question is, where do we start? I would assume, right off the bat, we start here, right? But that doesn't really get us where we want to go, right? Oh, hold on. Oh, it's only two drinks for a burger. Hold on. I think we can work with this. Maybe. Right, maybe we start here. Go here, go here. I'm trying to think. You think? Oh, I got it. The point five. Oh, not gonna lie, that was not bad. I have to upsize and I get this anyways. Okay, maybe I can do something with... I'd assume this. But that doesn't help much, right? So it's not menu one. That increases it. This seems kind of productive. Now, why would I change for that, though? Yeah, I can get it to 0.5. I just can't seem to get it to zero. Which is bugging me. I think I need the fortune cookie, to be honest. Yeah, exchange for that. Give me the drinks. So 
so there's a way to exploit this. Wait, wait, if I go, it gives me 0. 0.5 burger drink. Oh, no shit, I just did it. Is this your order? Yes. Why? Right. Uh, that comes to uh, zero slotties. <laughs> that deserves a large tip. Let's say 30%. How very generous. And you can keep the change. Hey, okay, it's not bad. Huh. I can't wait to see if my proverbial tinkerer's luck has landed me a trial membership in the Platypus Club. The greatest happiness is to see others smile. Darn it, another loser. I'd like to order the same again. One usual, coming up. How many times am I allowed to do this? You catch the biggest fish with patience. Darn it, another loser. I'd like to order the same again. One usual, coming up. I'm just curious now. Who needs a trial membership in the Platypus Club when he has health and friends? Darn it, another loser. Wait, that's what it said? I'd like said? to order the same again. One usual, coming up. That's so mean. Luck is with the fisherman. Darn it, another loser. I'd oh. like to order the same again. One usual. Oh, okay, okay. Luck is with the fisherman. No problem. We can visit him in a sec. Doc's workshop. To the pharmacist. Hmm. The red pipe leads toward Little Venice. The green into the heart of the industrial park. And the yellow into that dark alley. I have no clue what any of this does. Expired tranquilizers. <laughs> Better than nothing. That sounds sketchy. You who? What? Where? So, what do you sell here? What does it look like? Well, no, seriously, what does it look like? I'm blind, you know. I see mostly mind-altering substances, illegal drugs, and questionable medications. Oh, good. That's all right, then. This is my drugstore, apparently. How may I help you? No. I just gotta learn not to question things with this game. I would like to buy something. That's good. That's very good. What will it be? A uh, plus five healing potion. I would like a plus five healing potion. Sorry. All sold out. But I have some antidotes on sale. Nah, never mind. I'll save my money then. What's in that bottle back there? Uh, undiluted ethanol with antifreeze? Tastes all right, really. I used to drink that a lot, until I was eventually no longer able to find the bottle. Have you got any sedatives? Yes, but you need a prescription. I've got a prescription right here. That's not a prescription. That's a button you tore from your coat. Are you quite sure about that? Listen, I may be blind, but I'm not dumb. Well, maybe you should get a second opinion. Are you giving away anything for free? Not really. The only thing I could offer you is a sample of this new plant. It contains various mind-altering substances that have never been tested on humans. Incredibly dangerous. Absolutely illegal. And the possible side effects are both unpredictable and unspeakable. But it's free. Yes, but... In that case, can I have it? Not so fast. You can only have the Cucumis Agneto in exchange for a free coupon. Cucu... what? Cucumis Agneto. The cucumber of revelation. The active ingredient is in its juice. Unfortunately, the shell is very hard. Hard shell, dangerous content, unpredictable side effects. Oh, just like me. I do it. <laughs> ah, nothing I need right now. You get what you deserve. Yeah. I'm new here. Are there any sites you would recommend? Very funny. I'm blind. Just in case you hadn't noticed. 
Hey, nobody's perfect. Nobody but me. Oh God. You're blind? How come? Let's put it like this. I should have read the directions for use while I still could. <laughs> okay, that is fair. And kind of funny. Mm. From here, you know, you've got a great view of the marketplace. Oh, that explains a lot of the noises I've been hearing lately. What do you hear then? Any news or exciting rumors? Sorry to disappoint you, but that rhythmic background music drowns out everything. Except for occasional cheering coming from the arena. That's a shame. Have you been to Bellevue recently? Very funny. Mm, I'd noticed that music too. I wish it were possible to switch it off somehow. Too bad I've run out of earworm repellent. Hmm. I think we could do something about that. Wait a minute. What is that? Uh -huh. Hmm. What's up with that arena? Uh, I've been wondering about that myself. All I know is that it's a cauldron-shaped pit in the center of the marketplace. Some kind of sporting competition is held there, involving platypuses, I think, and oh, water. God. Water? Yes. Luckily, they've now built a railing around the arena. Boo boo boo! Peekaboo! That lost. <laughs> Wait a minute. What is that? Uh huh. See you later. Not if I see you first. Okay, don't bully the blind. Du, du, da, du, 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 da. That didn't seem to do anything. Interesting. That's the original configuration. Du, du, da, du, 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 da. Why does it do it here? But um, Bellevue. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter right now. I need to go to the dock. Exp oh God, expired pills. Please check your medicine's expiry date. What's that supposed to be? A fortune cookie. Since you're bragging about your oh-so-terrific fisherman's luck, maybe you could prove it for a change. Huh, if that's all... There you go. I won. Hooray. What? Show me. Nothing doing. I won that. And I always wanted to be, um, a member of the Platypus Club. But it was my cookie. Ah, shut up. Here's your stupid membership card. I'm already a member of that silly club. Once accidentally fell on a scratch card. And now, leave me alone with your nonsense. Huh. So he was useful. I don't want that. That's really small bait. Nothing like my epic whale bait made from phosphorescent anchovies. Okay, to be fair, that was cool. What was it I didn't want to do again with jars full of hooks? Oh yeah, stick my hand in. <laughs> Ow! Oh yeah, that's a callback. I like the callbacks. They're fun. Anyways, I want to look around this place. It's about time somebody invented that. A banana straightener. Actually, you know what? You know how you have your like jelly and chocolate filled uh, donuts? I kind of, I kind of want a banana filled one. But the curve would kind of make that hard, wouldn't it? I am very sorry, sir, but the golden dragon of invisibility is not a floor model. I didn't even touch it. I just wanted to, to stretch my fingers and... Uh, uh, um, all right, all right. And what's this? What you cannot see there is the golden dragon of invisibility. So is it like an actual dragon? Like a living one? A shredder. What could I use on the shredder? I guess nothing at the moment. Um, ooh, a lotto map. Playing the lottery 
has nothing to do with luck. All you need is an infallible system. Unfortunately, huh. that is so true. The math doesn't seem to understand my system. The top prize is some fully functional torpedo equipment. Ooh. Oh boy, just what I've always wanted. Playing the lottery all yet. Huh, the lotto map doesn't seem to understand my system. Actually, there was a big thing with the um, lottery where there was a group that kind of raked their luck so that they could win a stupid amount of times. That was not, not great. Go, go, Rufus rubber arm! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, that always worked before. The sunglasses of eternal Go, go, inspect it. Looks like gadget. normal sunglasses, just that the lenses are covered in black paint. Cool. Not really? An excellent choice, sir. Please do not forget to return the merchandise to its proper place before leaving the store. <laughs> Goal is bound to be impressed. No, that's a stupid item. Excuse me, sir, but I would like to point out to you that the modification, recalibration, or tuning of the sample items is prohibited. Oh yeah? And where does it say that? Did you not read the sign at the entrance? Nah, I thought I'd wait until the audiobook is out. Yeah, let's just put it back for now. Here goes nothing. Huh. That's kind of cool. Sunglasses of eternal darkness. Looks like normal sunglasses, just that the lenses are covered in black paint. Cool. An excellent choice, sir. Ha! Indestructible? No way. It's broken. And I'm sure you don't have to pay for samples that break when you try them on. Or, uh, or what? Will you be paying by cash or organ donation? Oh, I see. They aren't broken after all. <laughs> My mistake. Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, a clue would be just a ticket. A clue would just be the ticket? What? Welcome to Gilligan's Gadget Garden. You are being served by Shopo Map 2000. How may I help you? What kind of things do you sell here? At Gilligan's Gadget Garden, we offer the most amazing equipment in all of Deponia. Go ahead and browse at your leisure. You are welcome to try out a few gadgets. But please remember to put back the merchandise before you leave the shop. But of course, what do you take me for? My CPU has calculated an 86% probability of an imminent attempt at shoplifting. What? Now, now that's outrageous. Based on what? Based on several factors. The way you are dressed, for example. Ouch. Are you a robot? The gadgeteer constructed me so I could help him run the shop. Smart move. Where is he now? This information is irrelevant. I am completely autonomous. I see. I wonder what became of the Gadgeteer. We have no idea. We have been looking for him for months. We? Yes, we are very worried about him, his wife and I. He's right there. In so your head? The Gadgeteer is married? Yes, Camilla is a wonderful lady. I am with her every day, lending her support. These must be hard times for her. She should not grieve for a husband who left her in the lurch. She should just look ahead. Oh, oh God. Does the robot like the gadgeteer's wife? 
Is that what's going on? People are so unreliable, aren't they? That is what I have been telling Camilla for months. By now she thinks I am right. Robots are so much more reliable, she says. Oh, God. Why is the pedestal over there empty? It is not empty. What you cannot see there is the golden dragon of invisibility, the most powerful gadget on Deponia. Golden dragon of invisibility? It may be hard to believe, but it is really there. A beautiful object, lavishly ornamented, and its powers are beyond imagination. But touching it is absolutely prohibited. I think I can only just hold myself back. Very much appreciated. I'll just be on my way then. Please come again soon. Hmm. <laughs> no, it's already perfect. At least, I assume so. In the shredder? I am very sorry, sir. The destruction of sample items is not permitted. I'm not doing that. Because according to the label, these sunglasses are indestructible. That is correct. Well then. <laughs> oh, that is a stupid loophole. An excellent choice, sir. Ha! Huh. Indestructible? No way. It's broken. And I'm sure you don't have to pay for samples that break when you try them on. Or, uh, or what? Will you be paying by cash or organ donation? Oh, I see. They aren't broken after all. <laughs> My mistake. Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, a clue would be just a ticket. Don't I back already in. shredded them. And I can be accused of a lot of things, but thoroughness is not one of them. Excuse me, sir, but I would like to point. Ugh. I don't need any more. All I need is my and my infallible system. Hmm. No, it's all at least. This device only oh. straightens bananas, which is already useful enough. Oh. Anything else I can destroy it with? Doesn't seem so. Spade, hook. Oh, I totally broke them. Hmm. Doesn't it seem like I it? knew I could break them. People just shouldn't challenge me. I knew I could break people. I am very sorry, sir, but the floor models must not be removed from the store area under any circumstances. I have no idea what you're talking about. Ahem. Uh all right, all right. Hmm. There's definitely more to that. I just gotta figure out... Just gotta figure out what, I guess? Oh, this is the harbor. Okay. Oh yeah, we needed to go hand in the ticket. Good enough? To the harbor? No. Oh no. Dark Alley, Bellevue. Should be in Bellevue, right? Yeah. ID card. Here we go. Hell yeah. I'm a member of the Platypus Club now. Congratulations! You are now officially part of the Platypus community. Will I be expected to shave my head or wear robes? Nope. But you get a free copy of the Platypus Field Guide. Is there a <laughs> no way to avoid that? Keep it safe. Someday it might save your life. They're platypuses. They're typically friendly. Almost like you piss him off somehow, but like it's a platypus. The big platypus field guide, third edition. Let's see if it says anything useful in there. 
Hmm, this is interesting. Apparently, in every generation, there is one platypus of each type that guards the nests against thieves. The eggs of these nest guardians are well hidden by the mother. There are four types of platypus, so a total of four nest guardians. Of course. I just need to find the four nest guardian eggs and hatch them. <laughs> then the corresponding platypuses won't be on the menu anymore, and I can finally invite Gold to dinner. <laughs> this plan is like so crazy. So crazy, it just has to work. Okay, so... Freeze the earth. Heat up the fire. Throw... The flying one? And feed the water to a fish. Cool. This is actually the most logical thing in this game. Not. According to the field guide, this is a flying platypus egg. Cool! That's just what my collection was missing! I don't know what to do with it. I don't know what I would want to do with it. Oh, no, no, no. I need to actually go... I personalize that. looks like the flying one. According to the field guide, this is the breeding ground of the local flying platypus colony. But an expert like me would have spotted the difference anyway. Shit. Another egg. Well, we got two of them. <laughs> yeah, well. You bastard. Hey, stop right there. I don't think I can pull this off without tools. Perhaps these two rocks and the meerkat trap over there could help. Hmm. Did one of them just... Glanch? Okay, hold on. I'm getting this egg. This boring wannabe wombat wants to play hardball, eh? Rufus should put this pest down with those stones and milk. Okay. Be careful though, this is not your average polo. Rufus has to corner the little bugger so he can't trick him in this cave. Oh! Oh, it moves like a knight! Did it just bug out again? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It bugged out twice! What the fuck? Wait, are you serious? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. If I can pick up two... Down in here... What? No, you gotta be kidding me. Ah, 
gotcha. Oh. I thought you could fool me, didn't you? But the wiser man never gives in. Oh, that was kind of easy. According to the field guide, this is the breeding ground for the local earth platypus colony. But an expert like me would have spotted the difference anyway. Okay, cool. Um, that still doesn't help me. That really doesn't. So what, we just walk around? Until... Actually, I think... I double clicked, but okay. I think I know how to hatch the one egg. And up we go. Maybe? The highest point of the habitat must be here somewhere. The highest... That must be it. The highest point of the habitat. But that doesn't the get us... The Flagomat only reacts to human ashes. Huh, handy. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. We're looking for... Nest. Scattered across the island. Okay, not here. There was one here, was there not? Egg and photo. Okay. Now it's gonna make me play another game. According to the field guide, this is a fire platypus egg. Cool! That's just what my collection was missing! <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, no. According to the cool... That means I need to start a fire. According to the field, this is where platypus experts Find the ingredients for a variety of culinary delicacies. At least, as long as the nests are unguarded. Hmm. So much wonderful potential for a festive, all-consuming fire. I unfortunately think he's right in this case. Hmm. Okay, we'll come back to the fire one, I guess. This is the breeding ground of the local water platypus colony. This is where platypus experts find the ingredients for a variety of culinary delicacies. At least, as long as the nests are unguarded. Hmm. The egg is right here. It took me a second to look for it. Honestly, I didn't notice until I actually started looking for it. I never actually According seen it. According to the field guide, this is a water platypus egg. Cool! That's just what my collection was missing! Okay, cool. That gives me three out of four. Oh, right. And I should have said this at the beginning, but you can actually fill up your inventory past the limit that you see here. Well, kind of. From what it sounds like, is there's more items in the game on certain sections than your inventory which kind of makes me think you can lock out progress take go the gut out uh tournament hand how do we get it Yes, the menu. Okay, we can 
do that next time. Generator. Hand have vacuum. Oh, you know what? That actually might hear me out. That actually might work on the egg. Maybe. According to the field guide, I bet I but I better not take the risk. It says there is only one of this kind per generation. Hmm. According to the f I bet I could find a much easier way, but I better not take the risk. It says there is only Hmm, kind of annoying. We need bread, water, thread, coal. We do have everything. Uh, you must know all about psychoactive substances. No, I don't. Just because I'm a poet, it doesn't mean I take drugs. That is a stupid cliché. Then forget I said anything. Except maybe that you should air the place out. It smells pretty heavily of stupid cliches in here. Hmm. Need sugar? You look hungry. I don't need charity. I have everything I need. Did I offer you anything? Fair. You look hungry. I don't. I. Did I offer? Hmm. I've got something for you. No thanks. I have everything. He has everything he needs. His place is so sparsely furnished, there isn't even any trash lying around. Hey! I. Uh... How? And what's this? The ashes of my. Poor mother. I keep them as a reminder. What is a pot of ashes supposed to remind you of? Not to feed fire platypuses dry kibble, for example. Oh. Okay, he literally has everything we need. The candle, the water, the urn, the coal, the thread, and the bread. Can't I just murder this guy? Like we murdered the animals? Who looks so ferocious, but of course, it's Hoedown the Garden Gnome! Hoedown, Hoedown, ugly as can be. What the actual fuck? No, we're, we're jumping. Wait, let me. Okay, so that thing needs to go in. Okay, so. Earth platypuses hatch in frozen soil with the first ground frost. Oh, bummer! I can't possibly wait for the start of winter. Okay. I found it. So far, so good. Now I just have to hatch it. It says here. That fire platypuses hide their eggs in hot geysers. Geysers? There's nothing like that around here. Fire platypuses hatch in blazing fire. That's what I call an innate flair for a dramatic entrance. I found it. Now, flying platypuses hatch in free fall from the highest point of their habitat. Hey, tricky, but cool. I found it. So far, so good. Water platypuses hatch, excuse me, in the mouths of living zebrafish? <laughs> hey, disgusting! It also says here that zebrafish are freshwater fish. It may be difficult to find any here. I know exactly what's the matter. Okay. In theory? There should be some in here. According to the field guide, 
Water platypuses hatch their young in the mouths of living zebrafish. And zebrafish are freshwater fish. Hmm. According to and hmm. Oh, maybe we need to get a zebrafish first? Huh. The Venice? Honestly, there's just so much to, like, actually do. <laughs> Whoever designed this pipe displays a refreshing lack of respect for any sense of efficiency. Hello? Testing, testing. Attention, attention. This is an important announcement. A comet is approaching the floating black market. I repeat, a comet is approaching the floating black market. In order to avoid panic, you should consider suicide as an option. Oh my god. <laughs> That's fucked up. I know what to do with the pipes, though. That should be it? No, no, we need to go to the harbor. Hear me out. What if we do this again? Hello? T attention, attention. This is an important announcement. Will the captain of the trawler with the license number please report to the harbor master's office? Your trawler is on fire, and your wife is fooling around. <laughs> Hello? T Attention, yeah. Captain, I repeat. Captain Bozo is an old fuddy-duddy. <laughs> is that the long one? I don't know. Wrong way. Well, at least only three combinations, right? Hello? Testing. Attention, attention. This is an important announcement. A comet is approaching the floating black market. I repeat. A comet is approaching the floating black market. In order to avoid panic, you should consider suicide as an option. <laughs> hmm. I don't know what to do with that, actually. Shame. This idea is a... This idea is a real pipe dream. Ha, <laughs> very funny. Suicide. What the religious if you What the what do you want this time? <laughs> yeah, don't even think about bugging me again. Damn. I wish I'd had one of these for Tony. I wonder why I bet it's Uh Hold on. I I I'm too curious. First, I have to insert a cartridge. Okay. Honestly, should have done this from the beginning. That's so part one. I have a remote control now. Then let me use it. First. Oh my god. That's the goal. Okay. Find goal. Get to know. Talk to different goals. Get to know the second goal. 
get another fern okay so the first one wants a dinner date I have a oh okay the cartridge fits now the remote just has to work thanks to my charm the rest will be child's play Oh, okay. Huh? What the? Where am I? Don't you know? You haven't had that much to drink. This is still Gulliver's Gully, the darkest dive in the floating black market. Floating black market? Not on Deponia. Where else? Rufus, I'll wring his neck. Everything okay? Just give me some of your strongest. As long as I'm here, I may as well rot my brain. One rust red brain death coming right up. Interesting. Hmm? You again. What do you want? So, this is where you've been hanging out. So what? Do I have to ask your leave every time I want to go somewhere? Um, yes, that would be helpful. Dream on, wimp. I don't even know myself how I got here, but since I'm here now, anyway, I might as well explore my surroundings. And by surroundings, I mean this drink. Hey, you can't do that. Calm down. It's all on Rufus today. But that was my lighter fluid. <laughs> yeah, that's how it tasted. Hit me with another. <laughs> you have to come with me and see Doc. I must? I don't think so. But your health is at stake. Don't worry. I'm feeling just great. But if you don't come... Then what? Will I get bruises? Will my shoulder be dislocated? Will I get a nosebleed? No, not that. But... But you will if you keep bothering me like that. Yeah, well, bother, bother, bother. Uh, Rufus. What? what? A little friendly advice. Never provoke a woman with a temper. Believe me. I once knew a woman who... You, you stay, stay out, out of this! Of this. Uh, you two do what you want then. Where were we? I think I was about to bring you with this bar stool. Ah, yes, great. Then let's proceed. Hey, no fighting in my bar, you hear? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so the first one is definitely high mighty. Don't get me wrong. But this second one is so much like Rufus. Oh my god. That's awful. You must come with me. Something went wrong with the surgery. So what? That goes for your birth as well. Oh. Is me complaining? Will you listen now? Your implant was damaged when... Meh, you're boring me. Please, go. You must come with me. Make me if you can. I'd love to see how you propose to do that with no arms and all. I do have arms. Oh. Those are arms? I thought you would drop some spaghetti on your shirt. Take a good look at them, because you won't see much of them when I spank your behind. Uh, Rufus. I don't think that's a very bright idea. <laughs> if only I had a Zloty for every time I've heard that sentence. Then maybe I could finally afford the kneecap replacement that people keep telling me I need. I just mean, uh, you gotta be careful with temperamental ladies. Or the steel plate to cover my skull fracture. Are you even listening to me? Or the tympanic membrane transplant. I give up. <laughs> um. We have to keep the organ on from blowing up Deponia. No worries. I'm going to take care of the organ on myself. Really? And just how are you planning to do that? I'll just whoop their butts if they dare to cross me. Damn. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, God. Oh, that work? Hey, baby. Are you trying to hit on me? <laughs> Save your breath, wimp. Hey, you got me all wrong. I can wrap you around my pinky in my sleep. You'd better beware, or I'll wrap something around your throat in your sleep. See? <laughs> I haven't even started, and you're already fantasizing about you and me in bed together. Ugh. Oh, God. I'll find a way to make you go all week. As weak as your head or as weak as your arms? As weak as both together, baby. Ugh. 
Rufus, you're an idiot. Please stop. Wait here. I'll be right back. No threats, please. Oh god, what's the last one like? Lady Gold. Tell me. How did I wind up here? Most people ask that, but very few of them really want to hear the answer. <laughs> you're funny. Oh no. Spunky. Is this tea? Oh, it's you! How nice! So, this is where you've been hanging out. Have I? That's crazy! I can't even remember how I got here! It doesn't really matter how you got here. What's more important, I know how you can leave here. Oh, in a dirigible! Please, please tell me it's a dirigible! Uh, no, not in a dirigible. M maybe later. Yippee! Oh God! You have to come with me and see Doc. Oh my gosh! Am I sick then? No, you. Oh dear! I can feel it now. I think I'm running a fever. No, no, you're you're not sick. I'm miles for you, quick mum. Look and tell me if my uvula is swollen. Ah! Uh... Will you listen to me? You're not sick. Oh, what a relief! And here I was thinking I had to see Doc. But you, you, you do have to see Doc. Oh my gosh! Am I sick then? <sighs> this is gonna be one of those days. Just say it's a checkup. Won't you please just come along? Where? Well, to to Doc. Who's Doc? Say, did you fall and hit your head? Hmm. I don't know. Did I? Yeah, actually, yes. I I think so. Can't you remember anything? Well. Yes, you are... Rudy! Oh, Rufus. Oh, this is exhausting. My head feels as if a burning saw blade hit me in the temple. Uh, you obviously can't remember anything at all. That makes it even more important for you to go see Doc. Oh, you're probably right. You are such a good friend, Rudy. <laughs> sure. So, are you coming? There's no time to lose. We need to prevent the Organon from blowing up Deponia. Did I hear that right? You're planning to stop the Organon? Don't tell me you're with those resistance fruitcakes. Resistance? What are you talking about? What do you think? Janosch and his people, who else? Janosch? I told him a thousand times that I won't have any conspiratorial meetings in my bar. First, they're all... Death to the Organon! And then I end up having to scrape peanut chips out of the jukebox. Did you hear that, Rufus? A real resistance movement. I heard it. How terribly exciting. But the really important thing is that we're both headed to Doc now. We're gonna fix your brain and... We can't do that now. We need to join the resistance. I... Uh, yes. Y what? Oh god, we made it worse. I'm so curious. Hey, baby. Are you talking to me? <laughs> did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Actually, it did. Oh. <laughs> uh huh. Ooh. I give up. What are you giving up? No, it does, doesn't matter. Huh. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this one. Wait here, I'll be right back. Yay! At least this one's not mean. Oh god. Is that Is that just self standard? Not being mean. Oh, that's a horrible standard. Jesus. Oh, oh boy. I guess. I guess we'll end it here for now. We'll can you continue on next time. Figure out what we have to do. And go from there. Because I think I have a few things going on. And. I'm going to use the map hints to help out and 
I'm also just gonna, like, have a good think about it. Because, you know what, fuck it, why not? It might help in the end anyways. It might not. It's just one of those things. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter in the end as long as... Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't really matter in the end. As long as we do what we gotta do anyways, get through this part. Because this seems like um, the equivalent to the town in the last game. Yeah, technically. Um, and I know this is going to be kind of the more sluggish version of um, part of the game. But once I get past it, that should be where the story starts picking up. And that's where my interest is going to be, as the story is a big thing for me. But, um, yeah. Fun stuff. Anyways. I don't have much, much else to... I don't even talk. I ramble. I really do. I just ramble on. <laughs> I don't mind, though. But, uh... Actually, I kind of hope anyone who actually listens to, doesn't mind either. But, <laughs> anyways... Thank you for tuning into the frequency. This is the Rebel Lemon signing off. So good night and sweet nightmares.